So you have wastes that are filtered here at the glomerulus, and then some of them, like urea, are partially reabsorbed in the nephron, and others, like creatinine, are not reabsorbed and maybe even a tiny bit secreted. And then whatever ends up getting through the nephron and to this collecting duct basically goes to the bladder and is urinated out. So as we've talked about, the amount of a substance that you pee out might not be the same as the amount that you filtered at the glomerulus. And to help us understand how different substances behave differently in this way, we have this concept called clearance. And the clearance mathematically is defined as the amount that you urinate, and it's a rate, so amount urinated per minute, let's say, divided by the concentration of that substance in blood. Concentration in blood. Now these two amounts, of course, are going to be different depending on what substance we're talking about. So the clearance is different for each substance. And this formula might not make sense to you immediately, but it'll hopefully make sense soon. Before we actually go into it, let's first explain what clearance means intuitively. So clearance ends up telling you the volume of blood that's cleaned of a substance per minute. And the idea is that if the kidney is really good at getting rid of a certain waste, it's going to have a high clearance for that waste, meaning that every minute it cleans out a large volume of blood of that waste. 